Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So this is my 10 gallon quarantine tank. I got new fish last week, well five days ago. Got 11 of these glow light tetras. And I got a pair of black mollies. Here's the male right there. I do not have the female any longer. Lost her, found her dead yesterday. And then today I noticed the male is looking pretty messed up. It's got those um, white spots on it. At first, my first thought was ick. This ick would be, would look like white spots like that, like kind of like salt grains covering it. But then it's not quite spread out like times I've had ick and there's like the spot on this on the on this side here not that side on this side right under the pectoral fin kind of near the gill it's kind of like stringy and dangly so I believe that is culinaris so um, all the the other fish look fine. The the glow light tetras are looking good. But yeah, the molly's messed up, so I have to treat this tank. Um, I was going to, you know, while they're fish are in quarantine, I would treat them anyway. Um, this medication here, Marison, it's one of the medications that I use. I would, just for pre preventative maintenance, I would use one packet of it if the fish looked healthy. But because that male is messed up, I'm gonna have to do a full treatment. So with this, it would be five packets of it, one each day, every 24 hours. So I'm gonna start tonight. I'm first gonna do a water change because um, once I start doing medications, I won't be able to. So before I begin, I'm going to do a water change and I'll add a packet tonight and then um, the next four nights after that for a total of five, I'll add a packet. And hopefully that will you know, resolve the illness. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So I got the, the glow light tetras and this Black Molly, well, I intended to be a pair of Mollies. You know, as I mentioned, I don't have the female because I wanted to put them in my my six foot eighty four gallon community tank. Here's a close up look of it. So they will be going in here, my six foot eighty four gallon tank. I did when I went to Petco and bought the glow light tetras. I did have them in mind to go in here and just kind of, um, on impulse, I got the the black mollies because I just kind of figured, you know, have a pair of live bearers in here to go with the sword tails. Um, and then I had, I was kind of thinking, I'd get a pair of black mollies and a pair of white mollies, like white silver mollies that are commonly sold at Pet, Pet Smarts and Petco's. At that Petco, there was there were no healthy females to go along with the, a male, so I was gonna wait another time. But kind of like, like Petco also sells guppies, like all black and all white guppies. They call them yin-yang guppies. I kind of thought having a pair of white mollies along with black mollies would be kind of cool looking if they were healthy, but now that this molly is sick. So those plans might very well change if this molly is sick. If this molly dies, I'm just gonna abandon the plan of mollies altogether. Um, if it comes out of it okay and healthy, then I will still get a 
a female, a black female to go with it, and likely to get a pair of white ones. But I've had, this is not the first time I've kept mollies. Um, I did have sylphin mollies, or hybrid sylphin mollies that I got from my local fish store when I had my, my 29 gallon tank. It was my, intended to be my sylphin molly and swordtail community tank. And the mollies never did that good. And, and I did have to do a treatment like this because I did notice one of the mollies looking like this and then it wasn't the first time either. They would kind of time would go by and then they would kind of not look so good and and start getting like this again. So yeah, for whatever reason I don't have haven't had luck with mollies and this might be just a, a molly thing. Because even then, when the mollies were sick, no other fish in the tank got sick like that. Like it didn't spread like like ick would spread. Um, so yeah, I don't think this is ick. Um, but yeah, so we'll attempt to do the treatment and then if depending on how this male recovers will dictate whether I continue with the plan of mollies. If it doesn't, then I'm not going to get mollies again until one other plan that I have is to collect wild mollies out of Rogers, Rogers Spring. It's a, a warm spring here in Nevada that has mollies in it. Um, mollies and has some Texas cichlids and aquarium fish. But yeah. Well, anyway, let me do a water change and then I will add the Marison and I begin treatment. Stand by. Alright, so I just did a water change. That'll be the last one until I'm done with this treatment. So look at the messed up molly. So, we're going to start with this Marison. I cut the packet open, it's like this powder. And I'm just going to Drop it in. And that'll just dissolve. And I'll do that. This is the first day, and four more days, five days altogether. And we'll see how the, the Molly is. So that kind of you know, discovering that this Molly is sick, I was it changes my plans. I was also going to I was gonna to try to make it to my local fish store tomorrow to possibly get more fish and other petcos and pet smarts to possibly get a new black female and then a pair of white mollies and more rummy nose tetras that I want to add to the the 84 gallon and see what my local fish store might have so I still want to get some Kerbensis for it and I wanted to get Odessa barbs I haven't been able to get those anywhere like some of the online sellers are out of stock of those I don't remember my local fish store might have them. But then I was also thinking maybe cherry barbs. And of course, whenever I go, if there's any cool looking platies or guppies, there's always a chance I could get those too. But yeah, that's gonna have to be delayed. And there's the one shrimp in here. I still need to add more so it can not be alone. And there is the Japanese trapdoor snail. I pointed that out in the last time I showed this tank when I first the video where I got these fish. And I said Malaysian trumpet snail, but that is a Japanese trapdoor snail. Just to make a correction there. But Alright, 
Well, that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishes. Thanks for watching.